Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. As the cool kids say, it's a hot minute since I've been here last. I do apologise for the lack of activity and uploads. We've had some things going on here. Some, uh, some happy things, some sad things, and some absolutely heartbreaking things. So, I kind of wanted to just take a wee bit of a step back and process recent events that's been happening here. And that's why there's been nothing much coming up, in fact nothing at all coming up. So if you remember from the last uh, action-packed adventure we saw the seals and the special forces dolphins whose faces had to remain pixelated so as they couldn't be identified. Um, we just left Coles Bay and we're on our way now to Port Arthur. Um, I'm absolutely positive that we'll be doing some filming there later on from the actual site itself. So I won't go into too much detail of, uh, of the site because, well, you don't want to hear it twice, I'm guessing. So it started off as a small timber station in 1830. And in the first decade of the settlement, saw a penal station hacked out from the bush. It started a number of manufacturers Shipbuilding, shoemaking, smithing, timber and brick making. The idea was that they were going to treat uh, prisoners not just cruelly and whip them and beat them, but also you know, build them to have some skills that when the prison sentence was finished, they could go into the outside world and use those skills to improve themselves. In the 1840s, so a consolidation of the settlement as the convict population reached over 1100. And in 1842, a huge flour mill and granary was started, which later became the penitentiary. Uh, also that year started the construction of a hospital. In 1848, so the first stone laid for the separate prison. So after the American War of Independence, Britain could no longer send convicts to America, obviously. So after 1788, they were transported to Australia. Some of the reasons, well, hang on, just noticing this is some guy's hat, fell into the water at this point, so they turned back for a rescue operation to retrieve the man's hat, which was successful for a call. Um, yeah, sorry, so, yeah, so the sending prisoners to Australia after the American War of Independence. Um, some of the crimes you read about that people were <laughs> sent to the other side of the world for were just ridiculous, like stealing a feather was one I remember reading. Um, just crazy when you think about it. So, when the convicts transported to Van Diemen's land, one in five were women. There were also a number of children who were transported with their parents. It's a bit of a harsh, bit of a harsh one, you'd think. But, um, and most of them did not return back to the UK. So, like I said, we've been, we, we went there. Luckily, I got treated to the birthday present a couple of years back. We went and visited Port Arthur, Port Arthur, and uh, stayed overnight in a nearby accommodation just across the road from the site. We do ghost tours uh, at night, so we went during the day and seen around the place and we went away, came back at night for the ghost tour, which was, uh, was quite fun, it was quite good, these like lanterns that were Right, oldy, oldy, worldly, stylely, uh, pretty battery operated, so quite bright. It was actually just candlelight you're wandering around by, or with, I should say. Um, so that was quite fun. Didn't get any supernatural activity. Well, there was some projectile vomiting from one of the other members of the group. Um, then they went to the chapel. I think that was down to spirits of another kind, as opposed to anything. Supernatural, only go. It's pretty, 
It was pretty not scary, but just disgusting because it stank. Um, and I think it just ruined their night because they just went away and didn't bother finishing the tour. Uh, what else is there about it? What else is there? Um, yeah, it's good because you can go around all the, all the houses. You can get inside most of the buildings, I believe. Pretty much all of them. You get a bit of a vibe. You get a bit of a... I don't know. It's good it's all kind of preserved as they, as they were at the time. In uh, 2010, I think it was, the site was uh, given World Heritage status. Um, so it can't be... can't be uh, ripped off in the sky rises. Site. Well, you don't know if you've a dog bark in the background. Have you caught that or not? Just want to get a bit of attention, I guess. Um, right, I'll sit to the left. I think actually, I may have been picking that hat up. There's a wee island there. I think that's Island of the Dead. Isle of the Dead. Which is pretty self explanatory. Uh, that's where they buried it. Deceased convicts. Um, you can get a wee tour, apparently, buy tickets to get a boat over to that, and it's quite interesting. There's really great stones and some of the stories and plaques over there of who these guys were. Um, so this is where we've had to for our beverages here. Uh, um, that is me going. This time, I'm going back to the last video. So the big building you can see is the is the granary, which was it never actually used as a granary. It was the penitentiary for the for the prisoners. Um, you get the warden head warden's house as well. And I think it's the last house on the left. There, um, it's, 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 you, you could spend the whole day there. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And fortunately, there's site was a scene of more recent tragedy when uh, it became the site of Australia's biggest mass shooting, um, which was a real tragedy, obviously. I think it changed the, the outlook and the view of people towards having firearms in Australia. Maybe some other countries in the world could follow the suit. But uh, yeah, so Port Arthur. There we go. And you were promised whales and things in the last episode. That's not quite going to happen today. But uh, probably next time, I think. Probably next time. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate your support. Um, having said that, <laughs> in the, in the uh, I don't know, month or so since we haven't uploaded, we ended up getting three three new subscribers. As a friend of mine said, silence is golden. So please, yeah, if you do want to chuck us a like and a subscribe, that would be much appreciated. In the meantime, take care and we'll catch you next time. See you later.